so good to see you again. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 13. We're still kind of around the halfway point in Vlogmas because there's not really a specific day that's the halfway point. It's really like 12 and 13, so you know, whatever. Anyway, today we are making DIY salt dough ornaments and I am so pumped for this project. I feel like it's going to turn out really well and mostly because I feel like you can't mess this up as bad as we did the cookies. So fingers crossed, I guess, hopefully, I don't know. But without further ado, let's just jump right into it. So to begin making our salt dough ornaments, we will need four cups of flour, one and a half cups of water, and one cup of salt. We're going to begin by mixing those three ingredients together as best you can. I will say um, I tried a whisk before this and it didn't work very well for very long. So I then switched to a wooden spoon and eventually to kneading, which you're supposed to do for roughly 10 minutes. I will also say that I did my first batch of dough and my camera didn't record it. So this is a second smaller. I did a half batch of dough instead. So this is the footage you're watching. And if you look in the background, you can see my first batch of dough. I just wanted to make sure that I had B-roll for you to watch and see what I was doing. So we're kneading and still kneading. And we're done. So next, I recommend cleaning up your area first and then lightly flouring the surface you intend to roll your dough out on. And if you have a cat, he'll probably walk through it. So then we're gonna roll, roll, roll our dough out. And once we have a nice flat batch of dough, we are going to place our cookie cutters and begin cutting our shapes. I personally chose to use two different sizes of cookie cutter. One is a relatively large size and then I have a smaller set of cutters. You can get these at most stores. I personally got mine at Hobby Lobby during their 50% off Christmas sale and got a lot of different cute designs. Once you've done that, you're going to lay your cutout pieces on a parchment paper lined cookie sheet. And then I personally used a paintbrush to poke holes in the tops of my ornaments to add string later on. I tried a straw initially, as you can probably see in this reindeer here. And I found that it cut too big of a hole. So I went back and added dough back in and put a smaller hole in him later. Once that's finished, your oven needs to be preheated to 300 degrees and then we will bake our ornaments for 30 minutes. And this is what they should look like when they come out. They're so happy. For decorating my ornaments, I tried two different techniques. This first one was a paint marker. And as you can see, I put too much on this first ornament. So I switched to another one and the dough quickly dried out my marker. So I had to prep it several times in order to get enough paint out of it, but ultimately we prevailed. And while my letter sizes were a little bit off, it still turned out relatively cute. Mm -hmm. 
As you can see, I also went back and added some extra little details in different places. The second technique I ended up trying is a watercolor technique, which I think with a little more practice could turn out to be very, very pretty. Of course, you can try these or play with your own decorating techniques. Once I finished, I cut bits of twine to string through my ornaments. I pre-punched made it super easy to string it right through and tie them on so that I can hang them on a tree or garland or wherever I wish to. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the outcome of this project. Aren't they lovely? Okay guys, so did you love this project? I am so happy with the way these turned out. Aren't they precious? I love them, which of course if you want to, you can seal them with like a, a shellac or a, a sealing spray if you want to. I probably will on some of my other ones, I just didn't for the video. But I am very pleased with how these turned out and I hope you'll give it a go. Let me know if you do and how they turn out and share with me how you designed your ornaments because I'd love to try your different techniques and the way that you guys approach this. And of course share pictures with me because I would love to see them. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed the vlog, which I hope you did, be sure to like it below. And if you like me and what's happening on this channel, then subscribe to it so that you can see all of the upcoming content. Thank you guys again so much for joining me on my channel and supporting what I'm doing here. I will see you guys in day 14 of Vlogmas. Good night, y'all.